Okay, we can see here a very typical body position of um, many swimmers that come to us here at Swim Lab for stroke correction, video analysis. They're frustrated with their swimming. Um, they want to swim more uh, or longer continuous laps. They're frustrated with having to stop after 25 meters, after 50 meters. Um, and look, here's the reason why. Swimming is all about, or well, the first stages of swimming, are all about reducing drag and increasing efficiency. Unless you do that, you will be a high heart rate frustrated swimmer. Look at the drag profile of the swimmer here. Um, and the, the wall of water that they're sort of pushing against. This is it's, it's very hard work. And until you come to a program, the only way of problem solving this, as the swimmer is doing here, is by pulling and kicking, ferocious pulling and kicking, because he doesn't know any other way to sort of solve the issue of the sinking, sinking hips. Um, but obviously, with a better head position, what we want to attain within the first two weeks is the head, the hips, and the heels in line. And we give you a smart solution. It's, it's very easily solved. Um, and it doesn't involve working hard. It doesn't involve kickboard and working the legs and getting big muscles and getting stronger in the water. It's a much smarter progression and a much smarter solution. Getting your head, hips, and heels in line um, is the first challenge that we give our, our swimmers over the first one to two weeks. And as soon as that starts to sort of embed and become quite autonomous, a different head position, a different arm position, a different body engagement, that's when you've got an awesome foundation for your stroke.